Uh, Alright, so stuff to change this week. First of all, Squigglies and Sis all have names. Yeah, they didn't have them before, but now they do. Uh, so if I do this, then a motorcycle drives by and sets off some car alarms. Uh, got a bunch of these. Everything's got names. It's pretty cool. Um, oh, yes, it's not actually called Dragon Punch. It's called Dragon Punch. And for those of you who don't know the difference, a dragon is apparently some sort of Nordic zombie. So it works on two levels for her. Um, also, everybody's throws have names because they didn't before, but Render did that because they all had names. They just It just showed up as throw, so now they show up with their actual name. Yep. Uh, the one you will probably see very often is Anesthesia. Yeah. Alright, so I'm going to pick some stuff. Pick some squiggly, pick some... What else did I do to who? Cerebella. Uh, yeah. Pick some parasol. Oh no, actually double. Yeah. Oh, and this keyboard allows me to hit those three keys at the same time. That's pretty cool. And I approve. Her. Her. Uh, Alright. And we may as well go to the casino because I'm sure that's what everybody wants to see. Okay. So, the first change for this week has nothing to do with specific gameplay for everybody. Uh, if you will notice by looking at Parasol's hitboxes, all of her hit stuns now, well, okay, the air one's the exception. All of her hit stuns now look like idle, which means all that stuff where you would do something and it would whiff, like, I don't actually have anyone on the opposing team that it would work on, but like Misfortune standing medium kick whiffing over Philia in certain hit stuns and all that, that doesn't happen anymore. Uh, everything is a lot more consistent. As well, Air hit stuns have been redrawn, so or not redrawn, but reboxed. That's an interesting word. So that uh, basically the boxes for all of the different frames of your air hit stun include any area that was hittable in any frame of it. I don't know if that made any sense. So like you used to change shape over the course of it. Now you're the same shape, but it encompasses all of the areas that used to be hittable on any of the other frames. All right. Um, going on from hitboxes, well, I guess I can use them to show one more thing. Uh, the projectile invincibility on Cerebell's Kancho, Kancho has been reduced to the frames that it used to be on because there was some pretty dumb stuff demonstrated this past weekend when we actually tested it. So now it is as invincible as it used to be, but not to melee hits. Uh, so you can no longer see if I can do this on keyboard. I probably can't. Oh man, I even hit the wrong keys. Yeah, you can no longer go through all of bikes. Um, if you're charging and running, and I missed the bike, now I have no excuse because it's just me. You can go through some of it, but you'll get hit by the end of it. Uh, so it's as useful as it used to be, but not any more useful. All right, turning on, turning off some hitboxes. What? What? Yeah, the stream may lag. I'm gonna look at the stream tests, uh, or I'm gonna look at the settings after this. But I'm going through all of this so that I don't have to go through all of it again later. Alright, uh, back to double. So, uh, this is for you, Viro. So, double's regular jump is still higher than it used to be because I want to see what that does this week. But her super jump has been returned to the height that it was formerly. So, all of your regular launch combos should still work because they go the same height, or she goes the same height when you launch people. She just jumps higher when you're jumping around being a dumbass. Uh, so tell me how that works out, because Severin actually showed me some other amazing stuff with uh, the higher jump that you could do, or with the super jump that you could do that made a bunch of things not work anymore, so at least that's not true. Um, but her random jumping around hard punch pressure is a little bit weaker because her super jump and her regular jump are pretty close to the same height now. Um, as far as Squiggly goes, she already had all of her moves. She has all of her jumps colored now, which weren't last week. Um, that's a big deal because now it's only attacks that aren't colored. <laughs> um, she probably did get other colored frames, but Rich didn't tell me what they were. I just built her, so that's it. Uh, she has a bunch of effects that she didn't have last week that you'll notice as you play through. And the damage on all of her standing normals has been increased slightly. 
attack. Yeah, so this used to be, well, okay, she's being multiplied by one third, but whatever. So at this ratio, that used to do like 1500. Now it does 1820, which is fairly close to, well, these are two characters with poor examples of pierces. Right, but since it's a two part, it does more damage scaling, etc. So it does slightly more damage than a single part pierce, but neither part of it does quite as much damage as that. Uh, so that's true for all of her ground normals. Also, uh, the charge version of... I'm gonna try this really hard. Alright, here we go. The charge version of spear ignores projectiles. Uh, as long as it makes contact before you get hit... Good luck with me doing this. Then you'll be invincible. Parasol was not a great example of that. Uh, I guess I could do it with bikes. So let's do it with bikes. That was bikes. My apologies to everybody for this. This is all 100% unrehearsed. Alright, it can trade on the single frame that it makes contact. But otherwise, that's what you get. Um, and the charge version of uh, Remote Stab which is probably called something else, um, seeks out the other person. It's called Tremolo. Thank you very much, person who knows what the moves are. Yeah. Um, the uncharged version still doesn't, and it will not seek behind you. Whoops. But the first, and the first one only, right? So if they jump over it, then it's not going to hit, because it's, it's only where they were when it starts. But at least you got something. Um, I may mess with it so that the first one is somewhere in the middle of the screen and the second one is actually where they are because they're all available to be stretched out. But So there's that. Um, also, you still have Sing, which works slightly differently than it did last week. Last week it paid attention to the dead zone. This week, Squiggly, if she is able to be centered on camera, will always end up in the center. Um, so you can still do... Right? You can still do all the stuff you used to be able to do. Oh, parasol's heavy. Alright. Um, oh, and they all last like that. DJ Azure is not very good with his right hand. You must do it with your left hand. <laughs> um, they all last for 35 frames longer than they used to. Uh, I mean, the effect of the screen lasts for 35 frames longer than it used to. So, on the regular one, get over there. There we go. So, on the regular one, it's long enough that you can actually see it. Uh, and on the level 2, um, it's more than long enough to do at least one versions of combos. Oh yeah, also she has a lot more sounds, which I wasn't remembering to say because this computer doesn't have any speakers. Uh, but you guys have been hearing the whole time. I'm not actually aware which versions of these have sounds, but some of them do. Uh, so you'll hear it over the course of the game and all of that. Uh, there is a character whose power is to cause lag. It's Valentine. Thank you, stream chat. Alright, so there you have this week's changes. Most of them had nothing to do with gameplay. Some of them had to do with gameplay, and I hope that you're happy with all of them. Uh, like I said, for the PC beta, and this should go back to that amazing screen now. Yeah, that's pretty cool, actually. Like I said, for the PC beta, um, it is going to, at the very least, take until I can fix the online desync because I'm not willing to ship with that and it's pretty awful. Uh, thank you, everybody. And now back to Render standing around on the console version. Uh, we also can, if we would like, uh, have people play on the PC version since it should support whatever controllers you got sitting around, um, especially Xbox. And we would like to find problems. Also, it loads way faster. Thank you. You are very helpful. Where can you download this screen? That is a good question. I don't know if we're putting it out in public or what. Uh, let me find out from Ravidrath whether I should put it up. But yeah, thank you, Alienware. This PC is pretty amazing. I do sort of wish it was a laptop rather than a desktop. But 
it's an amazing screen.